Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing my brow routine using high-end products. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade that I just recently got in my Sephora unboxing haul. So if you would like to see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm about to do my brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown. And it's brand new, just got it. So my first impressions will be on camera with this. And I didn't get the brush that it comes with. I'm just gonna use this little angled brush from BH Cosmetics. It's from the 36 piece kit that I got and it also came with a spoolie. And I used this little flat brush right here to conceal and carve out my brow. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And then of course I'm concealing with my LA Girl Pro Concealer and Toast as usual. I'm just going to brush my brows out a little bit because they looking kind of crazy. And we're gonna try this new brow stuff today. I'm so late, but it is okay. Ooh, I think I took way too much, y'all. Just going to fill that in. I think I actually took too much because this stuff is pigmented. So now I'm just going to take my spoolie in the front of my brow and brush those hairs upward. I've been liking like a really bold brow so I'm not going to comb through any of the product. I'm just going to leave it like that. And so there's the difference between... <laughs> one brow filled in and one brow not filled in this brow is my struggle brow so it needs like a little bit more help see here like i don't really have the arch part at the top on this side so i always have to create it I'm gonna show you guys a messy brow routine, like what I do when my brows haven't been arched or anything in a while. But my brows got waxed maybe a week or two ago, so they're pretty fresh and clean, so I don't really have to work that hard with them. But sometimes my brows are like struggling really hard and have a lot of little hairs under them. So I did do a brow routine for messy brows with more affordable products and I guess I can do one with the high-end products as well. So what they both look like filled in. I like it. Just gonna get the front of this. I always put a little bit of product in the front and then I just comb the hairs upward just to fill in the front because I don't have any hairs right there really but yeah I think I like this stuff and you really don't need to use a lot of it please don't use a lot of it I didn't use that much so now I'm going to get my concealer clean up these edges show edges girl show edges I'm just gonna Put this right underneath my brow. And also like when my brows are freshly waxed, I don't really 
conceal the top of them I just do the bottom even though there's really no hairs I always like to highlight and make it a little bit more defined and kind of just clean up any mistakes that I made when I was filling them in and then I just like to drag the product down So these are the finished brows and then after I do this I would just keep going and like do my eye makeup and stuff so I'm gonna go do that and also the rest of my face. I always like to just blend out that concealer with my fingers because I don't like to see like any really really harsh lines but I really like it. I like the dip brow. I think it works really nice. And it's not hard at all to use and it went on really smooth and I didn't have to use a lot of it. So that little pot that it comes in will probably last you forever because I barely used any product and I don't do my makeup like every day. So I'm pretty sure that you would be good with that. But I'm going to go and do the rest of my face and then I will be back. So here is what my brows look like with the rest of my makeup done. I just filmed this makeup look so be sure to check that video out as well. I will have that link down below in the description box. I hope you guys like the way they turned out. I absolutely love them. Like I love the way this product works. So please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I will see you in my next video.